Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson has been helping storm victims in western North Carolina, but he's now facing criticism for some of his actions and inactions. WRO's Laura Levine joins us live from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Laura, we've learned Robinson didn't vote for Governor Roy Cooper's request for emergency services last week. Jeff, good morning. We're here at the Franklin County Sheriff's Office because this is where uh, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson has really been working to get resources sent to Western North Carolina. Behind me, you can see there is a truck here. There's some supplies, cases of water. Later this morning, he's going to meet and join local officials to give an update on some of their relief efforts. But as you mentioned, posting on X in recent days, Robinson has called on Governor Roy Cooper to send more resources to people in the western part of the state. But WRL has learned Robinson didn't vote for Cooper's request for emergency services last week. Now, when we asked Robinson's office why he didn't vote, his chief of staff sent a statement that didn't address the question. Former Governor Pat McCrory criticized Robinson for needling Cooper in the middle of a crisis, telling our NC Capital team, quote, this is not a time for criticism. This is a time for working together. You don't do that while they're still in the middle of search and rescue and recovery. Now, Robinson plans to talk more about his relief efforts again with this press conference beginning at 8.30 this morning. For more on his response and his efforts to help the people in Western North Carolina, you can head over to the WRL uh, NC Capital section on WRL.com. Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Franklin County.